Hi there guys, my name is Aaron and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit this amazing portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before we start retouching this amazing portrait, you have to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the raw file and the retouching actions that I'm using right now. Uh, right now i have just released the makeup artist retouching actions 2023 and there are with a bunch of new features so go check the link down in the description and i'm gonna start with the cleaning of this portrait so for cleaning we're going to use three different tools hot cleaning brush tool healing brush tool and patch tool so click on clean and black and white health layer and click play after we do that as you can see we have two different layers one of them is a clean black and white health layer uh sorry clean layer and one of them is black and white health layer so i'm gonna zoom in here in the forehead click on clean and click on the spot healing brush tool and i'm gonna clean this portrait just a few things here and there because i'm going to use frequent separation to clean this portrait in a professional way but i'm using the spot healing brush tool to remove some hair here and there as i said before uh, please check all the links in the description because i put the raw files that i create a video tutorials on youtube go so check the link and you will go to my telegram channel and you will find the all raw files that i have been using till today and i want to keep working just a little bit more on the other parts of this portrait for example in the chest or just a little on the neck not that we are going to work that much on this part because obviously there is just a little Now check up before and after and i think that is starting to look okay but as you can see i'm going to reduce it just a little because of this part and yeah i think it is looking okay i'll merge can separation with the background uh, because if you use these retouching actions you have to merge the layers always now after I am done with the frequent separation, I am going to play the dodge and burn, so click and play, open the dodge and burn, click on the dodge first, click on B for brush and 10% of opacity and 100% of flow, I am just gonna dodge and burn this portrait. Now check it before and after all the dodge. And I think this is looking okay, but uh, I'm just going to reduce it just a little. Now click on the burn, and for the burn, I'm going to burn just a little the cheeks, just a little around the forehead, and a little under the lips, just like this. Now check it before and after, and I think that is starting to look okay, but I'm going to reduce it by 50% uh, because 100% is kind of too much. Now check it before and after of this entire process so far. I think it's okay i'll merge these two into one now after i am done with the dodge and burn it's time for some makeup uh, details i'm going to click on the eye retouch and click play click continue click ok and open the retouch group click on the remove veins first so i'm gonna zoom in here in the eye and i'm gonna paint it inside the white of the eyes just like this this one uh is in the veins but as you can see in this portrait we don't have so much so i'm going to lower the opacity i'll click on the brightening this one is for the white of the eyes just like this i guess 35 is okay now click on the eyeball brightening zoom in and with a 100 percent brush i'm just going to paint it side of them i'll check up before and after i think that 100 is okay now click on the iris contour I'll check a before and after and i think that i'm going to reduce it by 50 percent yes i'll check a before and after of this entire process okay merge again into the one click on the darken eyebrows and you can play with the lashes too zoom in this one was for the eyebrows so i'm just going to paint it the 10 percent brush or maybe 20 just like that the eyebrows this one will make the eyebrows just a little darker. Check up before and after. Okay, click on the darken eyelashes. Paint it over there. Just like that. Before and after. I think it's okay. I'm gonna merge them 
again. I'll click on the smoky eyes, click play, and I'm gonna paint it here. Just a little. I have before and after. You can even put uh, some color on this. You can just click on the solid color and choose a color that you want for part of the portrait. Now switch the blending mode from normal, soft light or something like that. You can even change the color. For example, you can copy the color that is on the tips, just like that. But I think that I'm going to stick with this kind of purple. Just reduce it a little, not like a before and after. And I think that looking amazing. I merge again. Click on the mascara, click play. Zoom in with the white 100% brush. I'm just going to paint it around this. I'll check it before and after. And yeah, this one is reduce it a little. And one. I'll click on the eyeshadows that says pick a color. Create uh, two layers, zoom in, and copy the color that is right here. Just paint it. Do that same process in both of them. Now I'm going to delete that one just out of this black line. So I'll check it before and after. Reduce it. Click on the other one. I'm going to stick with a going uh, with a lighter color just like this. I reduce it to 23, I guess. I'll check it before and after. It's looking okay. Merge one. I'll click on the eyeshadow that says up and the white brush and 100%. I'm just going to paint it over there. I'll check it before and after. And it's amazing. Merge again. Now click on the darker nostrils, click play, zoom in. And with 100% brush, I'm just going to paint it over there. Just like that. Check a before and after. I think that I'm going to delete this kind of part, reduce it a little. Like a before and after. Okay. Merge into one. Click on the white teeth. Take play. Zoom in. I think that the uh, teeth of this portrait are kind of way too good. So I think that I'm just going to paint just for the brightness. Not to remove some yellow color. After, reduce it to five. And merge into one. Now click on the cheeks. Play and with a brush 20%, I guess. I'm just going to paint it this. I think that are good to go. Now click here on the lipstick color and you have to paint it around the lips and turn on a single color and paint mask with 100% of the opacity. If you wanna be accurate on this part, you have to click the pen tool and make a selection around the lips and you'll create a nice shape. I think that I'm good with the brush, this one too. Just delete it from the tongue. You can check it before and after. You can check all these colors that are on this single action. You can always reduce the opacity of this by 55 maybe or something like that. And you can check all of them one by one until you find your best lipstick color. And you can even double click here and change the lipstick color into whatever color you want. It will work fine. So I think that I'm going to stick with this one. Check out before and after. I'm going to zoom in and check if there is some color 
outside lips just to be sure and i think that i'm going to reduce it by 40 and merge into one again i'll click here that says soft lips and zip in start painting just like that As I said before, you can create a, a selection with a pen tool and save it lips, so you don't have to do this process again and again. Now check a before and after. This one is way too much, so I'm going to go by 25 and immerse them again. Now that we are done with some details, as you can see, a before and after. I think that is looking amazing, obviously. I'm going to click here on the sharpen, basing contrast, and paste contour, click play. Click OK. Now the sharpen layer is like mass, so I'm going to invert it. The white, and this you can see your sharpness. Reduce it by 50, something like that. I'll click on the contrast, as you can see. I think that for contrast, I'm going by 35. And for the face contour, I'm going to leave it just like that. Like a before and after of this entire process. And I think that is looking amazing. Now that we are done with the makeup actions, it's time for some color grade. So here we have the color grade light skin. Or brand new. Click on your best color grade. I think that I'm going to stick with the A1 and I will check all of them one by one and maybe make some changes inside the layers. This one little and put some more adjustments here. So I'll click on the color balance and click on highlights. So I'm going to go with this yellow and red tones like that. I'll click again on the color balance, click on the shadows. Just a little by 10%. Click again on the color balance for the mid tones. Just a little, maybe. Check it before and after. So this is before and this is after. This is before, this is after retouch. This is before and this is after retouch. Color grade. And check a before and after and i think that this one looking well that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and the retouching actions and if you think that this tutorial was useful and you learned something from me please don't forget to like subscribe and leave some comments also let me know if i'm understandable or not and see you guys in the next one peace